Ayy, no hook, no hook. Stay in the kitchen, the young nigga cook. Grew in the trenches, I grew in the truck with the killers, OGs and the motherfucking crooks. Nigga, they talking that shit, but I'm chasing and getting them paper, not talking about books. Don't understand why you hating on me, man. Y'all niggas so hooked, man. Y'all niggas so hooked. What's up, guys? It's your boy CB3. And before we jump into it, I want to give a big shout out to Zion's Bow Ties for sponsoring today's video. But let me go ahead and put you guys on real quick, alright? Zion's Bow Ties has bow ties. Face masks, t shirts, you name it. And what makes Zion's bow ties so unique is you actually get to customize your own bow tie so you can look good for any occasion homecoming, prom, a wedding, whatever it is, guys. You get to customize your own bow tie so you can have on your own exclusive drip. Now, Zion's bow ties is located here in El Paso, Texas. And you know me being from El Paso, Texas, you know I had to go ahead and cop me my own I Heart EP t-shirt from Zion's Bowties. So mine's on the way right now and you can get yours too at zionbowties.com or you can just click the website link in my description and it'll take you straight to their webpage so you can shop for your own exclusive drip. And if that's not enough guys, Sir Joseph D. Snell who is the CEO of Zion's Bowties is a retired veteran who decided to put his business here in El Paso, Texas. So what better way to go and support those fighting for our country than to go ahead and support their local businesses. Now this is a father and son owned business here in El Paso, Texas and we are so lucky because there is no other business out there like Zion's bow ties. So if you consider yourself to be a dapper king or queen, you gotta go shop at zionsbowties.com so you can get the most exclusive drip on the market. Because let me tell you guys, you haven't worn a bow tie until you've worn a Zion's bow tie. Now let's jump into this video. What's good CV3 gang and welcome back to another video. But listen guys, we are heading to the airport right now because we will be taking a very special road trip today. If you guys remember, a couple weeks ago I headed out to Kansas City to work out for a pro football team and I told you guys back then that I had really good news. So here's the good news guys. After my workout, I received an invitation to the draft for this professional football league called the RPFL. Now this league guys works directly with the NFL and the CFL. Now if I get drafted to this league guys, not only will I be receiving a check and signing a contract, but I will also be getting looked at by NFL teams and CFL teams throughout the whole season with the capability of getting picked up at any time during the season. So it's an amazing opportunity guys that I've been given. And and you know I'm just so blessed and grateful for the opportunity and it's just another step forward in my career until we reach the NFL guys we are not gonna stop and we're almost there guys we are this close and we're just gonna continue to grind and work hard if your boy's name is called tomorrow we have so many things to look forward to in the future and you know we're just gonna take it one day at a time all right from here on out guys you know it's in God's hands and everything will work out the way it's supposed to so I will be heading to Detroit right now guys for the draft I already got everything situated so come on guys let's head to Detroit Alright guys, so we finally made it to Detroit. We just checked into the hotel. It's a nice little spot guys. We got the two beds in back of me. We got the TV, the fridge, the microwave. And then we got our bathroom over here. You can see we got our bathroom. We got the little shower. Everything right here. And then of course we got the mirror where all the magic happens, you know what I'm saying? But yeah guys, that's pretty much the whole rundown of the hotel that we're staying at. I'm gonna go ahead and finish unpacking and getting everything situated for tomorrow. Cause you know, your boy's gonna be looking real sharp tomorrow, I promise you guys that. But yeah, the draft is tomorrow guys, so like I said, I'm gonna get everything situated. I have not slept guys at all because my flight left at 6 in the morning. So I really have not gotten any sleep at all. So I think I'm gonna hit the sheets for a little bit, I'm gonna take a nap, and then once I wake up, guys depending on what we do I'll tune back in with you guys so uh come on all right guys welcome to the next day I know I told y'all that I was gonna take a nap but I ended up going from a nap to just going to sleep bro I told y'all I was really tired so it's time for your boy to get dressed and get dripped out because the draft starts at 10 o'clock so I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed so come on
And the first thing that I believe is up is we have pictures, media, interviews, and stuff like that. So we're heading to the draft right now. But I had to go ahead and show y'all the drip. Your boy's gonna be rocking the royal blue today. And you know, I just wanna say I'm grateful for this opportunity. But it doesn't come without hard work and dedication. Y'all won't believe the amount of hours and work I've put in to get to this point right now. And I'm extremely grateful. All glory goes to the man upstairs. But I'm enjoying the moment. And you know, I'm just gonna suck it up. I'm gonna have a good time. And uh, we're gonna rock with it, right? So come on. <laughs> So we already found our seats, me and my dad sitting down right here. <laughs> Alright, he's videoing. But like I said, we just found our seats. And uh, the thing's gonna start here in a little bit. Now we're gonna get situated, we're gonna start, man. Should be fun. Like I said, man, hopefully your boy's name gets called. And if we do, we're gonna tee up, alright? So stay tuned. With the first pick of the 13th round, the RPFL Chiefs will select Chris Bustamante. From El Paso, Texas. Mama, I've been working, trying to get this money. Tell that please don't worry, no one's going hungry. But I know the ship just keeps on sinking. Gotta just keep on swimming. Hold on, I'm coming to the rescue, rescue. You know I'm coming with some rest to rest. Everyone's suffocating, I've had enough of waiting. I'm trying to save us all from drowning. I'm perishing shambles, cause lack of financials. They've been late on car notes, every dollar borrowed. They've been back and forth, yeah. Leaving is an option, that's at the door, yeah. And it keeps on knocking, IRS is watching. Mama trying to get saved, that is being probable. I'm just trying to get paid, could've signed a deal, yeah. But it wasn't worth it. Am I being selfish? Knowing what my worth is, but Alright guys, so your boy just got drafted. We will be heading to the Detroit Chiefs. And I just want to say I'm extremely thankful and blessed to be given this opportunity. We're still here at the draft right now. Once the draft finishes, I'll tune back in with you guys. But like I said, man, hard work and dedication pays off. And I'm extremely blessed. Alright, let's get to work. Alright guys, so we're here at Buffalo Wild Wings. We came to eat real quick. We're just gonna finish up eating here and then we're gonna head back to the hotel to get everything situated. But like I said, bro, the draft just finished. So, you know, it's a good time. We're gonna here celebrate real quick. And then, you know, we're gonna head back to the hotel. So uh, I'll tune in with you guys once we get back to the hotel, all right? All right, guys, so we just got back to the hotel. I'm about to undress and get everything ready. I'm about to change into some comfortable ass clothes. And uh, yeah, so once I get that, I'll tune back in with you guys, all right? All right, guys, I just took off the suit and everything, and I changed into some more comfortable clothes. But my flight leaves early in the morning. Well, my dad's leaves earlier in the morning. His leaves at like 6 in the morning, so we got to wake up a little bit earlier and head to the airport. So I'm going to get some sleep this time. I'm not going to try to pull an all-nighter and stay up all this time. So I'm going to get some sleep tonight. So I am going to head to bed early. And I'll tune back in with you guys tomorrow bright and early when I wake up. And we're going to head back to Texas. So I'm going to hit these sheets. I'm going to call it a night. It was a great day. And I'll, like I said, I'll tune back in with you guys in the morning. All right? We out. All right, guys. Welcome to the next morning. It's currently 4.30 because, like I told you guys, my dad has an early flight. So we're heading to the airport right now. We're pumping gas, as you can see. But as soon as we're done pumping gas, we're going to head to the airport. And we're going to take off back to Texas, guys. And uh, once I get to Texas, I'll tune back in with you guys. So, uh, yeah, come on. All right, guys. So I just got back to Texas. And I just want to start off by saying... I had an amazing time in Detroit. The whole experience was just absolutely amazing. It was such a crazy time being in Detroit. We had the media, we had the pictures. 
The whole event in itself was just absolutely amazing. As you guys saw, your boy did get drafted. Let me just tell you, I am speechless. I am beyond thankful to have been given this opportunity. And I just want to give a big thank you to the Chiefs for seeing the potential in me and, you know, pulling the trigger on adding me to your roster. So it is official, guys. I have been offered a contract. However, I have not signed anything at this point in time because I am talking to a number of different teams as we speak regarding the NFL, CFL, GFL, you know, I'm just talking to a multiple of different teams right now, keeping my options open and seeing what's the best move for me. I will continue to talk to my agent and keep you guys updated on my next decision on what I'm going to do. But I do want to say, guys, that I am completely grateful for this opportunity. Obviously, there's a lot of decisions to be made very soon. And you guys will be updated. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. But before I end the video, please, guys, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Comment down below. Share the video, guys. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. And remember, count your blessings, not your losses, all right? We out. If you look where we started, who thought we'd be here? And this shit getting hard to shed a few tears okay. They don't know who we are, so let me be clear All my niggas departing, no one get near